You're a difficult man to find, Cardinal. I see. And you are a difficult man to kill, Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan. Normally, I would be angered that you breached my sanctuary. But you've arrived so close to midnight, it hardly matters. In fact, it rather pleases me that you will be here to witness the dawn of a new era. Really? One I have worked so hard to bring about. Question is motives. Do ends justify means? Ask about the future. So let's ask about the future. What do you expect to accomplish from all this? At the stroke of midnight, stroke the of energy midnight. of these relics will surge and transfer itself into me. I shall then emerge as a being with absolute power over all religions. A god? In a manner of speaking. Really? I shall be the Earth's representative of all deities, the symbol of unity among all belief systems. No longer will people fight or argue over which religion is best. They will have only one choice. And what about those people who don't want to follow you? I can hardly imagine anyone who would not. But, if I am met with resistance, then those people must be eliminated. So you're saying you're perfectly willing to commit genocide if you're not universally accepted? How does that make you any different than all the religious conflicts you're trying to prevent? The difference is nobody will oppose me. Why would they? I offer nothing but positive benefits. Positive yeah, we'll benefits. we'll see about that. Uh, question is motives. Why are you doing this? I beg your pardon? You yeah. heard me. Why are you doing this? I would have thought it was rather obvious. Think about the world's greatest conflicts. The Crusades, the Second World War, the unrest in the Middle East. What do all these have in common? At their core, the cause was religious difference. Now, what if this conflict could be prevented? What if I could unite mankind under one faith, so that there would at last be tolerance and peace? You really think you can do that by taking all these relics? By collecting these artifacts and combining them here, tonight, at the stroke of midnight. I will succeed in uniting humanity and ushering in a new world order. One of peace yeah. and tolerance. Tell me, Mr. Jordan, is that really such an evil wish? Does that make me the villain? Well... And you, who are here to stop me, to put an end to my plans, what does that make you, I wonder? I wonder... To ends justify me. This new era of yours, was it worth killing so many people for? I don't believe I follow you. Simon Booth, Percival Quentin Jones, Alessandro Renzi, Thomas Ryan. Do you want me to keep going? Those are but a few unfortunate casualties. Yeah? Then what about the villagers in Greece, or the businessmen in Japan, or the rangers in the Everglades? You've got a lot of blood in your hands, Genovese. So, is your little fantasy really worth it? I admit, my plan can be considered by some to be radical, and society does not adapt well to radical ideas. However, I assure you that my intentions are noble. If a few people must die so that the world may live in peace, then so be it. I wonder if you'd have that same attitude if it was your friend that had been murdered. And I wonder if you would have the same attitude if it had been your younger sister who had committed suicide! Above all else, I am doing this for her, so that innocent children will no longer be forced into adulthood after witnessing the atrocities of war, so that families and lives will no longer be torn apart because they are the so-called wrong religion, so that humanity can finally be at peace with itself. For this goal, I very much do believe that the ends justify the means. Now, enough talk. Time is short. It's almost midnight. I'm not gonna let you do this, Genovese. What are you going to do? Yeah. Kill me? Push me out the window, perhaps? You haven't got it in you. You don't know that. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Hell, even I don't know what I'm capable of anymore. Your empty threats mean nothing to me. Just accept that you cannot stop me, and embrace the forthcoming change. 
I may not be able to stop you right now, but you can bet that I won't just sit and watch you take over. I'll fight you as long as I can. I'll do all I can to save the world from you. <laughs> save the world? From me? When will you finally understand, Mr. Jordan? It was never your destiny to save the world! It's mine. This guy's full of himself. Here comes. Happy New Year! Is something supposed to be happening? Oh, yeah. I don't happen. understand. What? I don't understand. What? What happened? I've gathered all the relics. It's the eve of the new year! Why has nothing happened?! Oh, God. Antonia. I failed you. It had to work. How could I have been led astray? All those years. Wasted. What are you talking about? What? Who led you astray? Where did you get this idea in the first place? It was a dream I had as a young man. The heavens spoke to me and told me about the great task. How I was to collect the relics and gain their power. I spent years tracking them down. Years building a group of followers. Years believing this plan would work. Unquestioning belief can be a dangerous thing, Cardinal. Yeah, yes, so. It's got me into more trouble than I care to admit. And look what it's made you do. You've caused the deaths of dozens of people, stolen priceless artifacts, and for what? What have you accomplished? Yeah. Enough! I don't want to hear anymore. I don't even want to live anymore! Go on. Do what you came here to do. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Kill me! Are you serious? Yes! Life is no longer worth living. Just put me out of my misery. Uh... Stop, Genovese. Genovese is standing at the window staring at you in his lighting. You can see what a frail and old man he really is. What do I have? Nothing more to ask him. 